some 50 km trip down the Taedong River, flowing through Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, brings you to the West Sea Barrage, located between Nampo City and South Hwangye Province. The total length of the West Sea Barrage, which consists of locks and dam, is 8 km. There is a railway and motorway on the dam of the barrage. It consists of 36 sluices and 3 locks. Thirty-six sluices opened at a time can drain 42,000 cubic meters of water per second, making it possible to lower the water level in the raining season. Of them, five sluices on the left always provide the normal level of water of the Taedong River. Lock number one allows a 2,000 ton class vessel to pass. Lock number two, 50,000 ton class vessel, and lock number three, 20,000 ton class vessel. The total freight traffic capacity of lock chambers per year is 45 million tons. A revolving bridge was installed on the sluices. The barrage has fish lanes along which shoals of grey mullet, eel, puffer and other fishes of over 10 species rise up in a breeding season. A low head small power station was built to provide electricity needed for the operation of the barrage. The West Sea Barrage was built according to the far-reaching plan of President Kim Il-sung for nature transformation. On May 22, 2070, 1981, he found himself on the lower Taedong River, acquainting himself in detail with the depth of the river and the stream of water by tide and fixing the site of the barrage. The designers worked out a large quantity of blueprints in a short span of time, with the pride and honor of building a monumental structure for national prosperity. Scores of thousand men of the Korean People's Army competent scientists and technicians and constructors joined in the vast and difficult project to build a barrage by gunning up a rough sea. The project was a confrontation between the wild sea and the strength of men. The builders pushed ahead with the construction of Kaffa Dam and Earth Dam simultaneously. So the builders always took the lead in the most difficult work under the slogan, Let us take upon ourselves both national defense and socialist construction. They devoted their self-sacrificing spirit and performed feats for the prosperity of the country.
tens of pumps went into operation, making the bottom of the sea show itself after billions of years. The wild sea gave way to the creative strength of man. The basis for locks began to be laid there. To accomplish the far-reaching plan of President Kim Il-sung at the earliest possible date, Chairman Kim Jong-il taught the popular order of priority of construction and its methods in detail and solved all different problems. On September 19, 274, 1985, when the project was at the final stage, Chairman Kim Jong-il visited the construction site together with President Kim Il-sung. They indicated the main link of the project and solved the knotty scientific and technical problems, encouraging the builders. The inspired builders created the record of tamping 21,000 cubic meters of concrete a day, a figure equivalent to building a city. was a combination of general construction engineering, hydraulic engineering, mechanical engineering, and hydrometeorology, and all other fields of science and technology humankind has so far achieved. Korean scientists and technicians pushed ahead with the project with their own novel ideas and methods boldly. Builders created the miracle of precisely assembling in 48 hours a revolving bridge weighing 1,200 tons on which truck and train could run. As the space between the right and left dams narrowed to 150 meters, 100 meters, 50 meters, the speed of current of water got higher up to 20 meters per second. Amid 
the locks and sluices being completed, the earth dam was built finally, putting a stop to a flow of the Tedong River. All people watched the scene with breathless interest. The construction of West Sea Barrage was completed in five years. It consumed tens of millions cubic meters of gravels and sands, 280,000 tons of steel, 1,100,000 tons of cement, and lots of other materials. A total of 4 billion US dollar was invested in it. Group sculptures were erected at both entrances to Barrage to immortalize the feats performed by the Barrage builders. A monumental stone inscribed with a poem tells of their immortal services rendered by President Kim Il-sung and Chairman Kim Jong-il to wisely lead the project and the heroic feats of soldier builders. A monument to the West Sea Barrage stands on the Pea Island. The anchor-type monument serves as a lighthouse. This is a monument inscribed with an autograph of President Kim Il-sung. It reads, The West Sea Barrage is a great structure built by our people with their revolutionary spirit of self-reliance and fortitude. Glory to the Barrage Constructors. Kim Il-sung, May 22, 1986. On June 24, 2075, 1986, President Kim Il-sung cut the red tape on the spot to inaugurate the Barrage. With the construction of the barrage, the Taedong River came to be unaffected by tidal water, enabling large ships to navigate in safety. Large loop lines were formed linking Nampo City and South Hongye Province, completely solving the traffic in the west coastal area. The lower reaches of the Taedong River have been turned into a large man-made lake and store 2.9 billion cubic meters of water. As many irrigation channels were built around the barrage, irrigation water is supplied to about 340,000 hectares of farmland and tide land in South Pyongyang Province, Nampo City, South Hangye Province and the Pyongyang City. It also fully supplies industrial water and drinking water. The construction of many barrages along the Taedong River contributes to preventing flood damage and developing water transport. It also converted the Taedong River into a large man-made lake and adds beauty to the scenery of the river basin. Looking around the barrage, Many foreigners and overseas Koreans unanimously praise it 
as a monumental structure built by the powerful strength and spirit of the Korean people and the independent economy, and as a world level monument, which could be built only by the Korean people under the great leaders. The West Sea Barrage will stand forever as a monumental structure telling of the immortal exploit of the great leaders and the heroic feats of soldier builders. <laughs> <laughs>